at 719 this morning. A lot of people would say there's nothing better than getting dressed for the occasion, especially when it's a pretty exciting event like the Kentucky Derby Bash. So you can get the big hats together, the sundresses, ladies, and two organizations are joining together to create one big benefit for everybody to enjoy when the Derby happens. And here with more on the event, the Youth Symphony Music Director, Sarah si uh, Severson. Yes, sir. And also we have another Sarah. <laughs> this is Sarah Chicatello, and she's with the uh, co-owner of a Berkey, Berkey Bakehouse. And you're going to talk about some of the refreshments that you've prepared, the specific desserts that you've prepared for this celebration here in just a second. But let's start with you, Sarah, and talk about the event. Besides the Derby, what can people expect? Great. Well, we're bringing the Kentucky Derby to Albuquerque, mm -hmm. and it's going to be held at Equestrian State, a state here in Albuquerque. And you can look for great dress. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage everyone to dress up in derby um, style dresses for the ladies, sandals, big hats, fascinators, gentlemen bow ties, seersucker. It's kind of a, it's a kind of a formal deal, right? I mean, it people is. really get all decked out for this. It is a fun afternoon party. So, so you're so, wanting to reflect that here too. Yes, absolutely. We're going to have lawn games. We're going to have bluegrass music and um, events going on throughout the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have um, an open bar with craft beer and wine from um, local shops here. So it's going to be a fun, fun event. It's quite the celebration. How are you showcasing the Derby itself? Are you going to actually show that on screens? How's that working? We have a large mm -hmm. HD video wall that oh, is going to be set up and we're going to start pre-race as soon as our event begins at 2 p.m. and um, have it on all afternoon and some fun, friendly betting games. Um, we're going to have some um, tents set up around the lawn game so people can have great activities for the afternoon. That's what I was going to ask. I'm not too familiar with the Kentucky Derby and how, as to how long it lasts, but this is an hours long deal, right? The pre race starts and they cover the history mm -hmm. of the horses and the jockeys and, of course, the owners. Um, and the race itself is quite short. I think it's, what, two minutes max? I okay, so that's a short <laughs> deal, right? So but it's, it's all big the, it's event. the party before yes, it. Yes, <laughs> a counts. big event um, with a great celebration. We'll talk in a second, uh, if, actually, in a couple minutes here once I speak with Sarah about where we can get more information mm -hmm. specifically on how to attend. But that's coming up again when? May 2nd all right. in the afternoon. From right around the corner. Yes. So about a week and, what, a week and a half ish, yes. something like that. Yep. All right, Sarah. Tell me about what you've prepared. I know there's a sp couple of specific desserts that you've prepared for folks that are going to be enjoying this event. Yes, in honor of the classic derby drink, the mint julep, we created a macaroon. Um, that That's right uses, here, right? Yes, that uses um, a mint buttercream and hidden inside is a Kentucky bourbon jelly. Oh, wow. Um, That's got to have quite the flavor, <laughs> I would imagine. Yes, it packs a punch. <laughs> we'll also have a mini short strawberry shortcake slider mm -hmm. and a petite chocolate pecan pie. That sounds well. delicious. Are any of the other ones here or are these just other, these are other things that you feature at your shop? These are things that we feature at the Bakehouse. Very, very neat. So how did you get plugged in with all of this? <laughs> um, <laughs> we like to support good local events mm -hmm. and Jessica is a longtime friend and it just, we want to help support um, the Albuquerque Youth Company. Yeah. I'm curious about how you, I mean, sort of came up with in, in, in a mind about how to create something like this to reflect not just the drink, but also a dessert together in one piece. And then the other things that you spoke about as well. Um, it was really fun. We just were inspired by classic Southern sweets mm -hmm. and how we could um, make them small and petite and bite-sized, good for mingling and mm -hmm. talking. And Absolutely. And so that will be something that people can maybe hold in their hands along with a drink, as you said. Absolutely. This is one of the, is this a hat? Is this an example of a hat that somebody it might is. wear right here? Okay. That gives you a good idea. Those <laughs> are, that is one of the big traditions in, yes. in Kentucky. And then, of course, in this, in this derby celebration as well, people love to get decked out on those. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with all of this in mind, where can people get more information on, on getting signed up and attending? They can visit our website, burkayderby.com, and um, you can purchase tickets there and get a schedule for the afternoon. And um, we hope everyone comes out and has a wonderful afternoon with us supporting music education in Albuquerque. And that's what the proceeds to go to benefit the Albuquerque Youth Symphony. Albuquerque Youth Symphony program. We serve over 600 students in the area and we give out a lot of um, tuition assistance each year for students who don't have access to advanced music education. Such a worthy cause. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah. Enjoy music, too, in the community. It's Absolutely. All, all together. Thank you so much, both Sarahs. We yes, appreciate you being here today, and we look forward to hearing how the event goes. So you can get more information online, krqe.com. We'll be right back.